my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are already on the 31st Sunday in ordinary time of the liturgical year, and the gospel passage is taken from Mark 12, verses 28b to 34. It's about a scribe asking Jesus the most important of the commandments. Let us reflect on the answer given by Jesus and its message for us. The context is Jesus disputing with the scribes and the Pharisees. And observing how well he answered them, one of the scribes asked him a question. Master, which is the most important of the commandments? In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus will counter ask the lawyer a question and ask him to reply himself. But in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus answers himself because he answered everything well. However, Jesus did not give a strange or a new answer. He quoted to this first reading taken from Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 2 to 6 where it says, Israel, the Lord your God, is one God, so you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and might. God is perfect, and he demands perfect love. But Jesus soon added, the second commandment is equally important, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Here, loving God is not something abstract. It has become concrete. We can love the invisible God in visible human beings, especially because in the person of Jesus, God has become a human person. So the surest way to love God is to love our neighbor. However, loving our neighbor Sometimes it's not easy, and sometimes it's perhaps easier to love the invisible God than to love our visible neighbor, who are at times unloveable. So, the commandment to love the Lord our God with all our heart, mind, and soul, and strength also means that we should love our neighbor with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We should make all effort to love God in our neighbor. Well, loving our neighbor as ourselves is sometimes not difficult, at the same time not easy. Human beings as we are, we love ourselves. Therefore, to love our neighbor as ourselves is quite easy. But in practical life, it's not so. Psychologists will tell us that you cannot love others unless you love yourself. In other words, to love our neighbor, we have to love ourselves, and to love ourselves, we have to love our neighbor. Both these are complementary and not contradictory. Loving our neighbor will help us to love ourselves and loving ourselves as we should, according to the will of God, will help us to love our fellow human being. And this is shown to us by Jesus. As we hear into this second reading, taken from Hebrews chapter 7, verses 23 to 28, it says, Jesus is pure, innocent, unstained and separated from sin and sinners, yet he offered himself in order to save sinful humanity. He is the priest who selflessly offered himself to save sinners. So we have to love others, not because they are lovable, even if they are sinful, we have to selflessly love them. Therefore, the love shown to us by Jesus is selfless. We have to love just for loving sake, even if people reject us. Or even if they don't receive our love, we have to continue loving. This is the love demanded of us 
in today's gospel reading. Loving God with all our heart, mind, and soul in our neighbor. And that has to be according to the example of Jesus, a selfless love that goes on loving no matter what we receive in return. We need definitely God's grace to do this. Therefore, let us pray for one another that we may truly love one another as Jesus loves us. God bless.